Bern Gleaves from the Adobe Audition product team, and I wanted to do a deeper dive into the uh, strip silence feature, the new feature uh, for multi-track in Adobe Audition. And this feature lets you take um, long recordings like this interview recording um, here where there's a lot of back and forth and there's a lot of silent pauses or, or gaps in between the different sound bites. Um, and lets you get rid of those, those silent regions really easily. Now in the past, you might've had to come up and take the razor tool and click and click and click and click, you know, and just start to uh, click uh, around and, and make clips out of each of these silent regions. And then one by one, go through, delete them, delete them. Now this is, this is fine on a short interview like this. It's, it's probably pretty quick, but it's prone to error. You can see I kind of got the edge of, of the waveform in, in there a little bit. And, uh, but if, you know, for longer form for a, a 90 minute podcast with four participants, it, you, you could be doing this for a long time and that's, that's no fun. Um, and, and reasons why you might want to do that. Um, you might want to be able to move these different uh, sound bites around to rearrange the conversation a little bit to make it flow better or to adjust for timing, make something um, a little more impactful by bringing it, nudging it back a little, a second or two. Um, or you might uh, want to, uh, you know, remove the silent regions because somebody had a lot of background noise and you just want to remove that, that noise floor when you don't, you know, when there's, when they're not speaking. Um, and uh, so, that's how you did it in the past, you know, a lot of clicking, but now we have the new strip silence feature. And when you're in multi-track, you, you access it by through the window menu and choosing the diagnostics panel. And uh, let me clear out the old settings here. Um, and, and how this works is I, I select delete silence from the diagnostics effect and uh, I can choose a preset. Now, we have included two new presets, uh, clean up podcast interview and reduce microphone bleed for this, this new workflow inside of Premiere, or I'm sorry, inside of Auditions Multitrack. Uh, if you don't see these new presets, that's probably because you imported your preferences from a previous version or you already had preferences there. And some of the Adobe applications have some issues when um, new presets are introduced, but there's already presets and preference files on disk. They don't just get merged in. They, you know, if you clear out your, pre your preferences and, and launch in this sort of new default mode, um, you'll see these presets. But that's okay. I'll show you how to quickly create and emulate these on your own. Um, they're, they're pretty st simple and straightforward. To do that, I'll open the settings dialog here. And you can see we have a couple settings um, for this feature. We, could, we define what we, what we think silence is or what we want the algorithm to understand as silence. And we define what we want it to, uh, to recognize as audio. Um, now I'm going to choose the clean up podcast interview settings and you'll see that it sets a negative 42 decibel, uh, threshold as anything that falls below negative 42 decibels. We're going to consider silence if it persists longer than 500 milliseconds. Um, likewise, we're going to call anything audio that exists above negative 41 as a threshold, anything louder than that for more than 25 milliseconds. So, uh, you know, the, the defining silence is going to give us, uh, you know, when we define it longer, uh, a longer duration, it's going to give us a little more time, uh, you know, so that when somebody's talking and they pause a little beat between words or they, you know, they think about their words more carefully, we're not chopping that up. We're keeping that naturalness there. But if they stop talking, then we want to cut that part, right? We want to bring that, that noise floor down. Likewise with audio, when, you know, you want to come in pretty quick. If somebody says, mm -hmm, yeah, you know, you might want to catch those little mm -hmm's, even though they're, they're very short and they may even be very quiet. Um, so here's how this works. So these are the settings. If I wanted to save this as a new preset, I can put these in manually, come and click the save preset button and call this my podcast interview, whatever you want to call it, podcast interview, um, preset. Um, now we have another feature uh, setting here. So let's say that this was uh, some something else. Let me just set these to two kind of random. There we go. Uh, now, because I have content and, and my levels could actually be different, I could have a higher noise floor. I could have a much hotter microphone, something like that. I can use the find levels button and we'll go through and we'll analyze the content. Um, we'll analyze each of the clips and we'll come up with uh, settings based on that analysis that we that audition thinks is right. So it thinks anything above negative 36 is probably audio, but anything below 
negative 57, meaning we have a pretty quiet noise floor for these recordings, we're going to call that silence. Anything that falls in between will probably just be ignored. Um, we'll give that, we'll give those two settings, uh, both the, uh, the preset, the default preset, as well as these, um, these settings, a different run and we'll see how they do. And then there's one other option here called, uh, fix by, and that's if we want to strip the silence or split the silence. Now strip the silence, we'll just make those splits and get rid of them. Delete those silence regions altogether. Split silence will actually keep them in the tracks and selected so that I can kind of approve um before i delete uh, i'll show you both of those as well so i'll start with split silence i'm going to hit scan and now it's uh, it's going to scan both of the clips and based on the criteria that we've selected for sound and for um audio it's going to go ahead and find the different regions that it thinks are silent so you can see here um, the purple track is michael he's selected here the neck the green track is me if we start going through this you can start to see it's it's showcasing all right these are where we think uh, the different regions of silence are and uh, in this case yes there's there's sound on the purple region it's not going to split michael because it's looking at mine it's going to split my green so i'm going to go ahead and just say split all i could just double click one of these and have that split uh, by itself but i'm going to go split all and you can see it keeps split all keeps all of the uh, clips selected now i'm going to hold shift and drag these down to another track to kind of show off um, so we can we can kind of take a look and you can see I can at a glance I can start to see there's little bits there's little nubs of and tails of of audio that got caught maybe the settings uh, having this big gap wasn't quite right let's kind of zoom in here and listen to what's going on here um, I'll solo this track and so it looks like I was just kind of mumbling off let's uh, solo the beginning of this yeah, so I want I want to I want to kind of want to keep that right. I'm talking pretty quiet there. I haven't done any other effects or com compression or anything like that. But I might just want to drag that out, or um, I might even just want to take this clip that was cut and move it right back into place, holding Shift down to keep it synced in time. Um, but you know what? I don't really like the results that 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 gave me. So I'm going to back up. Uh, a little bit more and I'm going to go back to the uh, cleanup podcast uh, preset and this time I'm just going to hit scan and now I'm going to hit split all and we're going to drag these down and that actually looks a little bit better I see there's a little bit maybe over here if I zoom in you can see um, no, it's maybe it's just this one and that was just kind of me stuttering you 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 um, there might be a little bit of you know a little bit you can kind of see the tail if I zoom in here uh, a little bit of the tail that just fell below the threshold for a longer time. And then maybe at the end here, I do see where I, I, it appears I say, um, thanks, a lot. thanks a lot. Well, I want to keep that. I don't want that to, to go away. So I can drag that back up or I can just extend this clip out. Um, but it was, you know, kind of below the threshold. It was below the threshold of time for sure. So you, there are situations where you might want to just double check. Um, I might actually come in here and say, uh, if the signal's below, uh, let's let's take a listen. Here's what we can do. We can kind of we can do this a, a different way. Let me undo a bit. I'm gonna solo this. And I just want to listen. I want to check the levels of this clip for silence. And look, it's not even coming up on the on the levels meter. Let's change the range a little bit and see how quiet that is. Right? Look, it's not it's not pushing past negative 81 for the the silent air regions. What about my clip up top? Let's take a listen. Uh, let's mute this one. Yeah, so that's a below so negative 75. So we can define silence as anything below, let's say just negative 70 for more than 500 milliseconds. Then we'll say audio is really anything above negative 65, right? Anything that's, I mean, most of our signal's pretty low uh, or our signal's pretty fine. So if I have these, um, and now I can just click scan. And this time I'm going to choose strip silence. And then this is going to go ahead and delete the clips right away that uh, that we've identified as silence. I'll click strip all, and there we go. Um, pretty well, you know. I can come in and just kind of check. Yeah, that looks good. Is there anything that's dangling here? Nope. Did it get this part at the end where I said thank you very much? Let's. Come, it looks like it. Let me come listen. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I got all of that. So. Uh, you know, you can, you can kind of do go both ways. You can trust the analysis, try it out um, using split silence to kind of confirm your settings. Once you've dialed them in, I could save this as my new preset. This is my new um, 
my new podcast interview preset. And now my settings are available for any subsequent recordings I do under the same conditions. Um, as long as the conditions are pretty similar, my sound, my noise floors, um, as low as it was, uh, that's pretty straightforward. So that's a quick look at the um, at the uh, strip silence feature in Adobe Audition. Uh, happy to answer more questions on, say, our, our Reddit slash R slash Adobe Audition, or uh, in the comments section. Uh, wherever you're watching this video. So thanks a lot and uh, have a great day.